So you've probably seen this Generac standby generator, one of my previous videos, one or two of them. And <clears throat> it's time for a little bit of service on this thing. So <clears throat> nice part about these things is they have a, a little light right there. So if you have it mounted where you can see it outside your, your window or whatever, you can just look at it at the status light there. See everything's okay or it's not okay. 99% of the time that light will be green. That means everything's good. You don't need nothing. It'll turn yellow when it's due for a scheduled service interval. And red means we got a problem. So I had this thing for six years. This is the first time I got a red light. The battery's just worn out. Needs a new battery. No big deal. Uh, let me think when I put this battery in. It's going on seven years old. These things don't take a very big battery. And uh, they sit out in the winter in the cold. It starts up once a week for 15 minutes. So other than that, it's just sitting there in a maintenance mode. You know, in the heat or in the freezing cold temperatures, cold is hard on a battery. It draws them down. So about seven years out of the lifespan of the battery, I'm pretty satisfied with that because it's really not even a very big battery. And it's just a standard lead acid. I was thinking about putting an AGM in here. I'm not going to do it this time. Maybe I'll do it next time. But anyway, it takes a 26R battery. I already went and got one. So I'm going to round up some tools here. We'll come back and we'll uh, show you how to change this thing. Before we get started here, let's just go over a couple things. Obviously, for safety, you always wear your safety glasses, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> Anytime you're going to mess with it, go in here, shut off the main breaker. Kills your power. Now, I get asked about this thing a lot. A lot of people are curious about them. And... If you've watched my previous videos you'll know that i i really like this thing uh <clears throat> i just got the bare bones here this is a generac guardian series evolution see that little usb port in there there's some options you can get on here uh remote start remote monitoring uh so you could really monitor this thing from a thousand miles away you know if you're off on vacation or or uh, travel a lot, what have you. You just get that and you could even start it, whatever. So that's pretty uh, pretty neat. I just leave it in automatic here and let it do its thing. Just a side note I gotta add in, I forgot to say, in addition to turning that breaker off before you work on this, turn it off and pull this fuse out and leave it out while you're working on it. Also too, you might be wondering what the hell do I care about a generator in the dead of winter? No hurricanes, no tornadoes. Snow will take down the power as easily as any hurricane. It accumulates on the power lines, on trees, trees snap off, take power lines down. And uh, there you have it, you're just without power. You know, wet, heavy snow especially, and ice. Here we got a lot of snow. And you know, we got three foot drifts next to the house. I've had to snow blow out past so my dogs can go out and go to the bathroom for crying out loud. When we do this here, we're also going to have to reset some settings because we disconnected the battery. And I'm going to show you how to do that in addition. Pretty easy to get inside this thing. You just lift this panel here. Comes right off. You got the pegs where it sits in in the bottom there. And then the, they just latch over this thing here. So we're just going to set that aside for now. Now the 26R battery is important because the, the R, the uh, terminals are reversed. So otherwise you'd have to put the battery in backwards to get the cables to, to match up. these terminals open just a little bit 
They're on there pretty tight. Yeah, there's a negative. Positive. You can see she's pretty dirty in there. Might as well clean it up while we got it open. No corrosion on either one of the terminals though. Not a not a bit of corrosion. So I got a air hose with a long hose here. I'm just gonna bring it out here and blow this out with the air compressor. So I'll do that. There. All we want to do is blow the debris out of there and blow them uh, vents clean. I don't really want to blow into the electronics at all. Ready for our new battery here. as with any battery Just make sure you don't cross the terminals I always like to do positive then negative now we may lose some of our settings from changing this battery but I'll show you how to uh, reset the exercise mode Exercise mode is getting it to run once a week to do a systems check and charge. The, make sure the battery is fully charged. It does its own battery maintenance. We got the terminals on good and tight here. It's pretty much it inside of there. Come back up here. We can put our fuse back in. When I put the front panel on, I did not start this up yet. It's given us some options. The first thing it said was fuel source LP. And I, I want to keep it on LP, so I just hit enter. Sorry, I didn't have the camera on for that. Now we want to set the time. So the hour, it's not 11, it's 12 right now. It is uh, 12.44. So we're going to run that up to 44. And then hit enter. Select month. It is January. So we need to just leave it on one. Today is the 26th. So it did remember that. And it is the year 2020. So it says fuse problem but I still have the breaker off so that's likely the problem here let's flip the breaker back on I just had to push that fuse in a little harder it wasn't in there quite tight so now we're still off our alarm went away we can switch it to auto and we're ready to run so for right now, let's just uh, fire it up and make sure this new battery is good enough to uh, turn it over. And this, you can just go back to auto or you can hit off. can see that our light turned back to green let me just uh, 
I'm gonna put the camera down for a second. We'll go through and make sure that our our exercise timer is still set to where we want it. All right, so here we are. We're in the main screen to get to. Well, here we'll just go through some of the settings here, so you can see what uh, what's all available here. If you hit Escape, primarily for these, you're going to use Escape, Up and Down button, and Enter. So just system. That'll return you to the just a standard system. Date and time. If you want to reset the date and time, I have it in there already. Battery. Now we're showing battery condition good. So escape. Get over here to submenus, hit enter. We can go into the history, the alarm log or the run log. Don't really need that right now. Maintenance, it keeps a, a maintenance log for you. And uh, you can look at that. Edit, that's what we want right now for the exercise. We wanna keep it on English. Oops. Fuel selection, I have it, I want it on LP. This can run on LP or natural gas. Current date and time, we already got that. Exercise time. Oh, it, it kept it. I, I like it to run at 2 p.m. every Friday. So it'll fire up automatically, do a systems check. Battery maintenance, shut back down. So we didn't lose that when we changed the battery. We lost the date and time, fuel source, and uh, whatever else. We don't have this set up for uh, electronic monitoring or anything. So, that's that. I guess I never looked at the... Oops what it says under dealer if we can even get into that no nope, we don't have access to that so anyway that's uh that's that simple to change the battery on this and reset your settings scheduled to service again in october yearly service all it is is check the battery maintain the battery and then every other year is change the oil air filter spark plugs and set the valve lash uh i change my oil in it every year because it's just good maintenance and it takes such a small amount of oil it really costs nothing so that's what i do and then i do set the valve lash every other year that's important if you want these things to last a good long time they will last a very long time if you do the scheduled maintenance on them do what they tell you to do. So anyway, decided to make that quick video and we'll see you next time.